My name is Rob Jobrak. I've been living in Stafford County since about 1994. Mostly I run the board of directors. We have vice pre various vice presidents and directors who handle things like financial stuff, administration, maintenance, programs. Uh, my job is to make sure everything is coordinated and everybody's happy and take care of the various issues that come up in any house of worship and institution with various problems, friction, things that just need to be resolved. It's not too bad. Beth Shalom Temple was founded in 76 years ago. Uh, it first met in the basement of one of the churches downtown. Some folks were very generous to us, let us hold services down there. Uh, then in the 20s or th in the 30s, I believe, we moved to a building on Charlotte Street, which we liked a lot, but we just frankly outgrew it. Uh, one of our local developers, Carl Silver, uh, offered some land as part of a proffer, I believe, for development, but also for Beth Shalom Temple. And we moved out here. We began construction in the late 90s. We moved out here about 2001, 2002 to this building that we're in now here in Stafford. Uh, clearly, the first thing is size. We, we outgrew the old building. The, con the sanctuary wasn't big enough to hold services in downtown, especially during the Jewish high holiday services in uh, it usually in the fall of each year, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we had people watching on video monitors down in our small social hall in the basement. When we moved up here, we were able to have a sanctuary that accommodated the Jewish population of this area, not just members, but other Jews who wanted to come here and worship. The other big difference for me personally, since I was a teacher in the religious school at the time, was we had real classrooms. We were really compressed in the old building. But just the size, the facilities of this building made a huge difference to everything we do in our, pretty much our daily uh, lives as a, as a house of worship, as a, uh, as a, as a religious institution in this area. Can you speak about uh, generally what, what is the makeup of the congregation? Oh, right now we have about 130 uh, family membership units, we call it. Not all of them are families. There are some single memberships. Uh, and it varies. We have uh, some elderly folks to uh, young folks and young children. The most fun part of the day here is, uh, part of the week here is really Sunday mornings during religious school in Bagel Bar with all the kids running around. We have about 65 kids enrolled in our religious school at all grade levels, some very young preschool all the way up to post bar mitzvah confirmation high school kids. That's uh, very, uh, very exciting, and, and it's just a lot of energy in the school here, and a lot of kids running around, burning off energy, and colliding with one another, and stuff like that. We have, uh, Ju in Judaism, our service every week starts on Friday nights, and we have a service here every Friday evening after sun. It's supposed to be after sunset, because we, uh, we're Reformed Jews, so we uh, bow to the uh, culture and commute, uh, and we know people can't get here by right at sunset, especially in the winter months. So we typically have a, a Shabbat, which is the Hebrew word for Sabbath, on Friday nights here at the temple uh, at 8 p.m. Uh, we read from Torah, which is the, our holiest book. It's the, it's the first five books of the Bible, the, the books of Moses. Uh, we do that every Friday evening and Saturday morning, and then uh, we have Sunday school on Sunday mornings. But Shabbat is the big thing in Judaism, to have routine Shabbat services. Right now we don't have a full-time rabbi. We have a student rabbi who comes roughly every other week. She's in the process of getting trained up as a professional rabbi. In the week she's not here, we have a cadre of lay leaders who will lead services and Torah readers, which isn't the same skill. And our Torah readers will uh, have, have to do some studying too. But we're keeping up and in July, uh, we'll bring a full-time rabbi in. Uh, Re rabbi Jeremy Weisblatt will be joining our congregation in July, and we're really excited about that. That'll change the dynamic around here. We're very excited about that. Not just excited, we're very excited about that. We have, uh, in addition, I talked about religious school. We also have a youth group that's pretty strong. Uh, we, they call it the Virginia Youth of Beth Shalom, VIBE, V-Y-B-S, VIBES is the acronym. And uh, they're pretty active doing works, both social nature, both educational, and they do, uh, they do just fun stuff and good for them. They also do services around the temple and in the community. We have uh, adult education we offer. A lot of our parents grew up uh, not knowing Hebrew. Uh, their, their kids might be going through Hebrew school. All of our children learn to read prayer Hebrew, not conversational Hebrew. 
but they learn to read uh, Jewish services, large parts of them, including the most important prayers are done in Hebrew. So we teach all our kids to read Hebrew. Well, we found out a lot of our adults don't know how to read it. Either they were late coming to Judaism, came later in life, or because in Orthodox synagogues, women didn't learn Hebrew. Uh, and they have a desire now that their children are enrolled here. They want to learn Hebrew too. So we have adult Hebrew classes. We've had a lot of people who have gone through our class and even some adults who've had a bar bat mitzvah here at Beth Shalom Temple, which is pretty exciting for all of us when we can have that happen. Someone who comes back to Judaism or reinvigorates their Judaism. And it's an important service we provide for the community. We also... <laughs> Sorry. We are... We <laughs> We also have uh, a lot of, uh, I'd call them ad hoc programs, uh, Taste of Judaism for people, who, not just Jews, who want to understand what Judaism is about and get introduced to it, a more formal introduction to Judaism that we offer to folks. Uh, we also have some distance learning. We have people undergoing for adults who are, want to convert to Judaism. We have a pretty good group of uh, folks um, can, going through a class there. So there's lots of opportunities for education. There's also special programs here, guest lecturers, things like that. The thing I enjoy the most is I teach uh, Hebrew school. I teach our the kids who are going to have a bar or bat mitzvah uh, this year, and so it's our most advanced Hebrew class, and I teach them how to lead a prayer service, which involves learning a lot of Hebrew and is uh, challenging. Uh, I mean, it's learning a different alphabet, different language, uh, learning to read in Hebrew and uh, learning to leadership on a on a on the service of of a prayer service on the bima, the head of the sanctuary. We do um, we're good because we're not a big population. We're an isolated sort of. Uh, I mean, we're the only synagogue in this area, not only in Stafford County, but in this whole Fredericksburg region. Uh, we've been that way for a long time, for 76 years. Uh, there are some other small groups that worship collectively, but we're the only organized congregation and synagogue. Uh, we've been good about trying to create a Jewish identity in this area, both for our families and our and uh, and making sure folks understand what Judaism is in this community. We get a lot of uh, the community college students come here to visit, and we do a lot of education. We have um, we have a lot of church groups come here, which are, is actually pretty fun because we can have a nice discussion on a Friday night after a Shabbat service with a lot of kids or a lot of church groups about what's different about Judaism and what's the same. So we contribute educationally. We also do social action programs. I'm excited uh, to, to make the community better. One of the, the highest, you could argue, the most important Jewish commandment is to, to make the world a better place. That's what we're chosen to do. It's, it's We're not chosen for special privileges. We're chosen to, to fulfill a role to make this world a better place. And what we're trying to do is do more non-Jewish things. So next Sunday we're going to the homeless shelter, Thurman Brisbane Homeless Shelter in Fredericksburg to do some repair work there. We're trying to get a new uh, vigor about that here. We've not been great about it. We've been so busy, I don't want to say self-absorbed, that's pejorative, but we're sort of been trying to get our own house in order, trying to survive, if you will, trying to sustain and grow. And now we're, we want to look outward more. We've done other projects here like River Cleanup. We've helped with that. So, uh, we have an Eagle Scout project going on here now. So we, like, we have uh, some members who are very active and have always been active in Boy Scouts. Uh, there's other things like that we've done and we'll try and do more. We do things, it's tradition, Jewish tradition on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve for Jews to give the folks at a homeless shelter the day off so we cook a big meal, a big Christmas dinner, uh, usually on Christmas Eve. We, uh, we get a huge turnout for that from our membership and that's kind of fun too. Um, in Stafford County, this temple serves a role and, and this whole Fredericksburg region is the only temple. Uh, and it's a big role for us and, and we're, we're mindful of that. And we hope as we grow, and we're getting bigger now, and we're trying to attract more, of, there's a lot of Jews in Stafford and in the Fredericksburg region who are unaffiliated, they don't belong to a congregation. We're trying to attract more of them. Uh, we're trying to institute some new programs that'll do that. But we would like to show that the essence of Judaism, of making the world better, to do more in the community, to get outside the temple and to do more in the community and do more for Stafford County. And I think we're doing that now. 
I hope over the coming years uh, at the 700th Stafford uh, anniversary that uh, um, we're a real force for making this community a better place. That would be in keeping with the highest traditions of Judaism.